Hey gang, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes, or I don't know, um, Spooky Night Spook Likes. Uh, let me turn this music down a little bit, and I'll turn myself down too. Um, this is a game called Infra Arcana. Um, it came highly recommended to me. It looks like that's as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, I won't even try to center it. Here, maybe we'll put a fun image on it. Um, Infra Arcana. It is a, a roguelike, a pretty traditional roguelike for that matter. Um, you know, pretty standard as things go. Oh, I've got hiccups, sorry. I was chugging coffee before this. And all I can taste now is coffee and eggs. So, um, as I said, pretty standard roguelike. Um, except that it has a very, very specific horror bent. Uh, here, how about we put this there? Small that down. I just want to cover up the black stuff. You know, that actually looks terrible. Um, so every roguelike for this month is actually going to be a, uh, horror roguelike. Um, I have a short list of horror roguelikes from, uh, from the gang. Uh, from my friends and from randos on Reddit who are like, yeah, this game's a roguelike. I'm not so sure about all of them. You know? But maybe... Hopefully, I will have some good luck. So, where Nari, where Nari the Hotep went. I always, I always hate and love this, because H and T are next to each other, so that should be Thotep. But this is actually the Egyptian Hotep, like Amun Hotep, because Nari Hotep was worshipped as an Egyptian god. So it's. Nyar Lat Hotep. Where Gnarly went, rest vanished, and for the small hours were rent. For the small hours were rent with the screams of nightmare. So we got new journey, resurrect, home of wisdom, options, graveyard, and escape to reality. <laughs> so quit is called escape to reality. That's fun. Let's take a look at options. Um, hmm. Oh, oh God. What did I do? Okay, I think that's fine. Wow, you can get really granular. <laughs> oh, okay. Total wisdom, command list. A's inventory, C's closed door. I, I'm i never sure about stuff like this. Why don't we just go in? Okay, what is your background? We've got exorcist, ghoul, occultist, rogue, and war vet. War veteran is all fight. Armor lasts longer. We have armor. We have better weapon chance. Better hit chance. Tough. And we're a healer. It's almost something like a paladin. Rogue has a bunch of passives. Um, I get me I get less shock. Get more traps. Uh, I can trap track stuff for longer. Since the present of dope shit. I have a confusion spell. Which allows me to escape. Or a confusion artifact, I guess. And I can hide. I will get... This one appears to be a pretty standard D&D &D, like spellcaster. Interesting. Stout spirit. More spirit regeneration. Interesting. Ghoul. Doesn't regenerate hit points and can't heal. 
can only heal by feeding on corpses. Feeding is done while waiting on top of a corpse. Can frenzy dudes. Six hit points. Immune to disease and infection. Can't get sprains. Dark vision. Wow. And I'm allied to any other ghoul. That's useful. And exorcist is... Uh, oh, they're a cleric. Yeah, they're a spellcaster. They get a holy symbol and they get undead bane. Let's do one of each. What traits do you want to start with? Oh, God. Huh. Wow. Let's go with Bless. What is your name? I'll be Thuban. I stand at the end of a cobbled forest path. Before me lies a shunned, decrepit old church building. The access point to the domains of an ahorb, uh, the ahorb, abhorred cult of starry wisdom. I'm determined to enter these sprawling catacombs and purge them of the corruption that dwells within. At the depths of the abyss lies an artifact of non-human origin called the Shining Trapezohedron. Rumored to be a window to all the secrets of the universe, this must be destroyed, so none more are may be tempted by its deceitful promises. This is a really, really standard roguelike. Tree in the way. Okay, wow. Holy shit. Like, this is such a standard roguelike that, like, I'm kind of taken aback by it. Okay. We got water. Swim through the deep high... Okay. So it just has swimming there. Little is land here. So I wonder if there are characters who can't swim. Okay. I want to case the entire outside. I ran into some shenanigans in the Doom roguelike because of that. Okay. That noise just almost spooked me. All right, I'm already at 24% shock. That's not good, I'm guessing. Way is blocked. Okay. I noticed no music. Hmm. Now, I've just realized that I've selected Descend. I've selected a spellcaster and I do not know how to cast spells. This door is already open. Blocked. Okay. The music is coming back in. Drink from Founding restores health, spirit, and shock, but they can have other effects, good or bad. Founding can be drunk from several times, but each time there's a chance it'll dry up permanently. Okay. Drink from it, I feel more powerful. And it dries up. Well. That just blocks the way. I'll leave that. More water. Now on the one hand, this is a really big dungeon. A deafening trap. You know what? I'll go ahead and say no, I won't step in that. Alright. Path. Done. This is so classic of a roguelike, I'm kind of being blown away by it. I like the little sprite that I, uh, that is used. A worm mass is in my view. I've discovered a worm mass. I strike it with a hatchet. Covertly with a hatchet. But it bites me. I strike it. It misses me. I strike it and it splits. Oh. It misses me. I strike it. It splits again. I miss. The worm mass has died. Another worm mass. Hmm. I've been bitten by the worm mass. Low HP warning. Well, let's see if we can't. Hmm. 
Maybe B? Not while an enemy's near. I'm dead. Well. I was 0% insane. That's cool. Okay. Well. Let's do another one after this. Hey, and we're back. So, let's do a new journey. Um, so... I'm gonna do War Veteran. Ooh, you can upgrade the things you already have. I like that. Stealthy Aimer. Okay. I kind of either want to do Dexterous. Actually, I'll do. I'll double down on this. Be Thubin Thubin. Uh, yep. All right. Rip through. Oh my God, that's awesome. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, this is the same thing. This is this is the same area. Or no, maybe it's not. It looks similar. This does look very similar. Gas trap. Wow, a lot of traps, huh? Here, click. Way's blocked. Oh, that was a trap I stepped on. Burst of flames. Hmm. I'm scorched by flames and I'm deaf. Flames. A lot of flames here. Okay. Okay. Well, this will put me out a little bit. Cultism, I'm you. The cultist hits me with a gun. Oh, wait. How do I do this? X. Okay. I stab him with a machete. He dies. Ammunition. Something, something. How do I... Okay. Um, and is make noise. That's interesting. How do you pick up things? G. Okay. G. Nice. So we've got some guns now. The answer to the question, when do we get the freaking guns? Is now. More mass. A wolf bites me. A rat thing bites me. Oh, God. Who been no, please? Okay, well. How about we just do one of those again? Yeah, let's... Double down. Actually, you know what? Maybe the first room is always the same. Nice. That would actually make sense. You know? Because then it's it's almost like a hub level. It's like your hunter's dream. But Bloodborne isn't a roguelike. Oh, yeah? What about the Chalice Dungeons? I know everyone wishes that they weren't in the game. They are. I wish they weren't, too. I'm not sure if I'm going to, uh, if Bargate is stuck. Is there an unstick? Recite the inscription of the monolith and I feel powerful. 20% XP. That's cool. Why does it want me to do this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, there's a lot of games. So um, I can't remember if I've actually talked about this, but I am going to be ending this at the end of the year. Just because I want to uh, do some games that are not roguelikes. Uh, I also want to free up my Friday some more. Let's do this one. Uh-huh. Okay. And so there's some games that I might actually not just not get to cover. Wait. Yeah, okay. Um, I mean, Interact is... Hmm. Stone floor. A brazier. Stone wall. Stuck bard gate. Hmm. But yeah, Bloodborne is a game that I might not get to cover. There's also one game. I want to bring it up because it's just so weird. And, like, I'm honestly tempted to, like, make a full LP, but I'm not even sure if I could put it on YouTube. It's called Omega Labyrinth Life. It is a game where you play as a bunch of cute anime girls. And the more powerful you are, the larger your character's breasts grow. Yes, that is a real game. All right, just adjusting that. Okay. Trying to figure out where I go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, I thought so. I've discovered a bloated corpse. Great. It punches me and I'm wounded. I, sta I chop it with a machete. I get punched. I chop it. I'm hit. Okay. Well, let's see if we can heal ourselves. Command list. I inventory. Okay. A is inventory as well. Fuck. Not while an enemy is near, huh? Um. Destroy corpses. Oh. I'm dead. Damn it. Let's do one more as a war veteran. Yeah, he's just going to be three and three again. Wow, this one's really dark. A moldy potion. How do I... Uh, G, pick up item. Okay. Like, always going back to games like this, I'm like, yes, this is why games just have a generic use key. Because, for God's sake, it is annoying to remember an entire keyboard of commands. To try and figure out what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. What the fuck is that? The door is stuck. Please, I beg of you. Door stuck. Uh huh. I feel like a rat thing is in my view. I've discovered a rat thing. Nice. G. Yeah, let's pick that thing up. I'm only missing one hit point. Something rises from the tomb. Yes, I will. Pick up a smoky potion. Yeah. A mummy's in my view. Discovered a mummy. Well, that ain't good. I feel misfortune. I've been cursed. Also, the mummy mauled me. I've been mauled again. Mummy misses me. Okay, I've got a life lead. She speaks in a hollow voice. Exude death and decay. I'm decaying. I feel misfortunate. I'm decaying. Mummy dies. 
Okay, let's get back here and let's see if I can activate this medical bag. I have no wounds to treat. Bitch, I'm missing so many of my health. So I'm cursed and my body is rotting. The rat thing seems disturbed. A rat thing's in my view. Oh, I just realized the E that it said was, um, rat thing through a pile of debris. The E that it's, what the fuck? I went too fast. Oh, I'm slowly regenerating health. That's good. Well, let's keep on going. A colt. Nice. Yes. It's refreshing. Oh, these are statues, huh? Statues. Indeed they are. A raven. Yeah, the N is, is north. Oh, it, flat, it flapped away. Southwest. Oh, wait, right. Um, command list. Fuck. Command list. F is shoot. Just come on, you know? Ugh. Brother. How do I? Maybe I... Gee? You know what? I won't fuck with that. The raven sees me. Raven's in my view. It pecks out my eyes. I can see again. Any chance of... Oh, of course, yeah. I have no wounds to treat. Obviously. Smoky potions are benign. Well, maybe I'll drink one. A potion of curing. Look at that. Raven sees me. Gas spore. Interesting. So I can see how being deaf would actually really hinder the character. Okay, D's disarm, right? No, it isn't. Disarm trap is P. Oh, huh. Shit. Obviously, I shouldn't have stood on top of the trap to disarm it. That that makes sense to me now. A worm miss. Oh, God, they're all over me. Their hands are everywhere. Well. That was my best one yet. Um, I'm going to go get some more water. And then when I come back, we'll play as a rogue. Hey, and we're back. Um, so I've decided to actually only... <gasps> Excuse me. Decided I'm gonna save Rogue for the end. So, Ghoul starts with almost nothing. Let's give that a shot. Be a Thuban four. This is a pretty good roguelike. 
The atmosphere is a little... It's not as Cthulhu-y um, as I would have hoped, but Cosmic Horror is spitting Cobra. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey. Spider web, huh? Yeah, I know about fountains. I'm suffering from the poison. Oh, I can still get poison? Black Mamba. Alchemist workbench, interesting. Okay, how do I wait? Fuck. Wait is... S, okay. Feed on it. Feed on it. Nice. Feed. Hell yeah, that's cool. I feel more powerful. Cool. I'm entangled in a spider web. <laughs> God, that's how embarrassing. But yeah, um, cosmic horror and other Cthuloid shenanigan uh, shenanigans right, are really hard to do in video games. Alchemist workbench. See, so yeah, it said that spells cast at an altar are more powerful, which is an interesting mechanic. Cronit Domus. Stuck door. Okay. Okay. All right. Ghoul might be my favorite to play as. I love mechanically strange fighters. Although I usually prefer more even stranger things like a rogue. Is there a way to uns God, is there a way to unstick a door? Okay. Kick or W. Or K or W, excuse me. Uh okay. I kick the door. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice, nice. I dig it, I dig it. So I can swim as a ghoul. I was worried about that. Hmm. No dice, huh? Deep water. Okay, this is cool. I like this. I like this. So let's see if I can't go kick that other door. Why are this why is this red? Kick the grate. Okay, nothing. I'm just gonna start kicking everything. Oh! That was stupid. <laughs> that was pretty stupid. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it was down, was it? Indeed, it was. Oh, I just realized that means that you can kick shit. Hissing, huh? Black Mamba. Okay. Can we wait? Hmm. Okay. A lot of poison this time around. Reanimated corpse. It sees me and growls. Yeah. Get munching. A sanity hit. Reduce shock. Find a source of light. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I've been playing a while. 
Be more powerful. 20% SP. Okay, cool. Um, hmm. No, maybe we should try this. A green spider appears. Oh, it's summon creature. Shadows are closing in on me. I spot a shadow. I discovered a shadow. Claws me. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. Okay, now that the sanity effects are starting to come in, I'm starting to feel a little, a little more. Daffening trap. Oh, cool. Hmm. Oh, the spider's poisoned. Green spider bites it. Okay, feed on the corpses. Yeah. This is it. Eating corpses is actually a pretty cool mechanic. Nice. A dagger. Oh, wait. G to pick up. E to equip. God. Um... Hmm. Z. Okay. Okay, well. There we go. So now I've got an attack as well. Oh, iron spikes, cool. So now I can block doors. Which, if not from the original rogue, is something I think from Moria. Hey, we found the stairs. Oh, cool. Let's descend. Oh, you notice that you weren't able to see through the vines. That's cool. Okay. So I've got a wound. I assume that's a debuff. Kick that shit over. A frothy potion. Oh, the fire's actually fading. That's really cool. <laughs> that's an appreciable detail. I like that. Rogue legs are always so... I won't say weird. So specific about that. A wolf is in my view. <laughs> Crawling intestines. Damn. It's quite a lot of turns. Okay. Yeah, wow, yeah. That's my that's my most turns so far. Hmm. I'll do one more as a ghoul. Um Let's Ooh, claw damage. That's cool. And it appears to be the only ghoul thing that's actually on here. Let's go with uh, Melee Fighter again. God, look at this fucking graveyard. I always love whenever you can get um, lore from a character just from the class. Like, normally, that class war veteran would be called Soldier. And it wouldn't imply anything. But the fact that they are a war veteran nice. The fact that they're a war veteran implies pit viper and a corpse. Okay, they're going that way. So, one of those corpses might be my friends. But yeah, calling it a war veteran a lever, huh? Okay, I'll leave that on then. Wounded. Cool. Get him. Wow, that was it. How about
about we do one more? As a jewel. Dubin six. Anyway, I'm trying to get to this fucking point. Calling them a war veteran implies so much about them that normally you wouldn't get. Because it says that there was a war and that that's what they're a veteran of. Okay, now I can eat this. Yeah. All right. Okay. Is it blue doors or puzzle doors? Rat thing. I wonder why it's a rat thing and not just a rat. Just an empty chest, really? Spiked mace. I'll take that. Um, I, E, wielding spike mace, nice. Okay. My tummy's a rumbling. Yeah. That was a lot of drinks. Good job, Fountain. Spiked mace. This one, I'm feeling good about this one. I'm not even sure if I will play, uh... There we go. Get fucked. And we're back here, cool. I'm not even sure if I'll play, uh, a cultist. This game is free. Cultist looks wary. Vuesco Morana, Pestis Corento. Sawed off shotgun, huh? Give me that thing. Oh yeah, and this door's open. Worm mass. Misty potion. So now that the, um... Sanity... I'm paralyzing it with a mace. Cool. Reanimated corpse. Low HP warning. Damn. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take another little break. And then let's play Exorcist, I think, is the one I have next. Uh, Occultist. Okay. So, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go get some more drank. And then I'll be right back. All right, so took a little longer of a break here. Uh, my brother-in-law is installing a shower head in our shower. So if you hear any miscellaneous thumps back there, that's what it is. So playing as the occultist, I have a choice of spell domain, which is neat. Clairvoyance, enchantment, which are debuffs and buffs. Invocation, which is evocation and transmutation and then i also get traits okay so this is almost like a warlock where you get an extra amount of you get more customizability oh which is to say the dungeons and dragons fifth fifth edition class warlock where you get it's just more customizable than any other class except arguably wizard or cleric but you know Let's go with, let's go with tough. Dubin seven. Okay. Slam that shit open. Descend that shit. All right. Deep water down here, huh? Okay. Potion. This game's cool. I actually recommend this. Um, it's also free. Alchemist workbench, nothing useful. Cool. Okay. So, what happens if I hit X right now? Dark Bolt and Aura of Decay. 
Siphon powers from some infernal dimension, which is focused into a bolt hurled towards the target with great force. Bolt has some will of its own. The caster cannot determine which creature will be struck. Four to nine damage. Target is paralyzed, and it makes noise. Whereas Aura of Decay... Exudes death and decay. Distance of two moves. Take damage each standard turn. One damage per creature. And it lasts 20 to 40 turns. Jesus. Wow, that's pretty deep. That's cool. So it looks like the cleric, you have a predetermined spell list, I think. Rat thing. Cool. Hatchet him. Okay, cool. Monolith. So it looks like monoliths are just basically good. Revolver. Okay. A secret field. Cool. A little shortcut back. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's pick that up. Worm mass. Watery potion? Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Why am I purple? Oh, I'm shocked. Oh, I'm cursed. When did that happen? Well, maybe let's just uh, get one of these, huh? Turn on an electrical lantern. It makes my shock go way down, which is cool. And my curse is worn off. Random mini corpse. <laughs> Cast Dark Bolt, struck by a blast, and it's paralyzed. I'm infected. Okay. Let's uh let's crack the medical bag open. The corpse rises again. Jeez. Okay, so that's why they want you to destroy things. That makes sense. My infection is cured. I spent 20 turns doing that. Wow. Something repulsive. Bakus. Well, why don't we just... Where's my shit? I'm trying to look for where my... Dark Bolt. And it's paralyzed. Spews pus on me. My leather jacket gets torn. That sucks. Ugh. Uh, let's just do more of these, huh? It's regenerating. That's irritating. Yeah, let's try. See, this will allow me to get the hell away from it. Theoretically. Electric lantern ran out. Sanity's slipping. I'm slipping. Rats seem terrifying. I have murophobia. Rat thing, though. Okay, so I'm not really sure where to go now. My spirit points are back. That's good. Rat thing, huh? Wait, no. Actually, let's try drinking something. I'm confused. Let's try one of these. Oh, God. This could be trouble. I'm plagued by my phobia of rats. Yeah, it says terrified on the screen there. Oh, fuck. I'm dead, huh? No, wait. Okay, what can I do? I'm, I'm literally just cornered by these rats.
I... <laughs> Maybe I'll drink a potion of spirit. Oh, yeah, I can run down my... Too confused to read. Oh, wow. It's a potion of fortitude. Well, that was to be expected. Let's give those another... Let's give that another shot. Cultist. Let's do... Let's do transmutation this time. Electrically inclined. That's interesting. Strong spirit. Dubinate. Neum. Okay. Door stuck. I can come back and try to kick that later if I need to. Cultist, huh? He's kicking me away. A reanimated corpse, huh? Wow, that was embarrassing. Let's just try these, right? Ha boom. Neum. Fire has spread here. Interesting. Oh, you can burn the thing. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. That's cool. Deafening trap. Fire trap. P. P. Yeah. Cool. I should have read the monolith before disarming them traps. Wormus. Okay, X. Crap. Well, that ain't good. And it looks like that's the only path forward. I what happened? I think everything's okay. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Warm miss. A lot of bloody worm masses. So are those the guys from down below? I mean, I imagine it's not crazy for there to be that many worm masses in here. Yeah, it looks like one of the worm asses came north and hunted me. A lot of worms, huh? Fuck shit. Oh, that ain't good. Oh god. Here they come. Noom. They found this place. Blinding trap. P. Yeah, there we go. Rat thing, huh? I'm swimming. Nice. Oh, come on. Rats? No, I hate when rats are terrifying. <gasps> I sprained myself. The rat thing got burned. Hell yeah. It catches fire and I cough. No, don't step in flames. Maybe I can wait. Fire is spreading. I'm no longer terrified. No, don't step in flames. Give me that. A lot of worms, huh? A lot, a lot of worm masses. So are red walls secrets revealed? Fascinating. Damn. Well, that sucks. 
Um, really interesting. I really like how I'm able to pick out my, uh, my shit. Um, let's give one more shot with the rogue. I feel like this is an apt thing to end it on, considering that rogue is, you know, where this genre started. It's always so wild to me that, like, because, like, I explain the, the origin of the, of the term roguelike, and then I show people me playing rogue, and I'm like, oh my god, this is such a shithole. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, the lantern. Yeah, I like that. Problem solving. I'll come back for you later, Fountain. It's helping to keep my shock low as well. Rat thing, huh? The cultist fires an M1911. Prostengraninar malactos. So I've got a real weapon as well. Which is interesting. Okay. Oh, that sound. I don't like it. Oh, that's so creepy. Rat thing and a cultist. Holy shit, there's so many rats. Being able to dodge stuff is real nice. Let's see if I can't equip something. Can't apply that. Okay. How do I... E? No. Fuck. Well, my lantern's out. Yes, I will. Why don't we... Why don't, why don't, why don't we, why don't we drink that? Uh, fortitude. Nice. Secret revealed. I kind of want to get back to that fountain and drink. Okay, this would be a good time to learn how to fire a gun. Command list. Just punched my microphone. Excuse me. F is aim slash fire weapon. So maybe I should just go right into it. Okay, yeah, I thought so. E. Oh, that's cool. Okay. How do I fucking change what... Swap to readied weapon. Ugh. Inventory. Wield, equip, remove, consume, or activate items. Wield. Okay. WG? Fuck. Whoosh. Well, that's fine, I guess. My health's coming back, which is good. Stairs down. I should really drink before I uh, head on back. But it looks like I'll get my wish, actually. Yeah, because there's the, there's the fountain. Black Mamba. Yeah, in keeping with uh, Rogue Classic. I got one fucking sip out of that. That's fantastic. In keeping with Rogue Classics, a machete. Okay. God, okay. So how do I change what I'm doing? E? Oh. Took me 80 turns, but I treated a wound. Okay. God, I feel so stupid. Ugh, okay.
I have a gun prepared. I put away it. No. Hold on. Prepared. F? Can't apply that, but have I prepared it? There we go. Okay. Let's find the best gun. 5 to 10, 5 to 12. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Just kick all this shit. Oh, it's hurting me. I sprained myself. Well, why don't we just walk back and let my health regenerate? Okay, what is the fucking... Um... C, okay. Wolf sees me. F. F. Yes. Now I will shoot the gun. Kind of weird that wolves are in a dungeon. Like, wolves make sense on the surface of a, of a like, rogue-like, but inside a dungeon? I don't know about that. Hmm. We got ambient noise. Creepy-ass Minecraft cave noises. Why are Minecraft cave noises so fucking scary? Is there some documentary video on it I can watch? All right, 5% XP. I really love the idea of getting percent bonuses for XP. Oh, God. No. Z. Okay. Okay. Cultus is in my... Holy shit! Tommy gun. Alright, well, let's try that again. Let's go with Dexterous, because I feel like that aided me. Let's go with Thuban 11. Mm-hmm. Does the... The first area here spells out the word dude. You notice that? D-O-O-D. I hear hissing and snarling. Why don't we just go the other way? That seems reasonable. So yeah, despite the fact that I've had uh, quite a while to prepare all the Halloween videos. A raven, huh? Kill raven. Nice. Nice. Um, you could see that I was actually a uh, rat thing. Yeah, one was able to see the casting spells out there. I sprained myself. Nice. It's so odd that these corp these fucking cultists all carry guns. All right, let's see if I can get that. Oh, it's already prepared. How convenient. Oh, I revealed a secret thanks to my lantern getting turned on. Nice. A hatchet and an axe. Nifty, nifty nips. But yeah, um, I have the rest of the month all done, except for mm, the last one. The, that was weird. The last roguelike of the month, I mean. Um, let's see if I can. Okay. Twelve, two to twelve. Four to eight. But this one has a minus five to hit chance. This one has a plus fifteen. Well, whereas the dagger has two to five, but a twenty. And it has the crit bonus, 300% damage, in addition to the normal 50% from sneak attacks. Okay. This is 5 to 12. This is 5 to 10. Okay, so can I... And 
And then I will put on a hatchet. And what was it? The cult? Yeah, the cult. So N. There we go. Okay. F. 90% hit chance. I'll take those odds. Nice. 50%. I'll still take it. A crawling hand. Oh, God. Poisoned. Okay. I might die from poison. Actually, no, it looks like poison does the thing. Oh, God. Nice. Lantern's out. Okay. Yeah, it looks like poison does the thing where it'll only knock you down to one hit point and it stops there. Always been one of my favorite ways to uh, handle poison. Because it means that poison can be fucking crazy. Okay. Let's see. Can I still... Carcass destroyed? Okay. Oh, I hit him with the gun. That's funny. Nice. Destroy the corpse. Come on down, huh? Swap. Oh, fuck. Okay. So let's... A... A. Yes. Nice. Listen. It ricocheted. That was embarrassing. We were both missing each other. I guess that's all the, the dodge bonus I have, but also the crappy aim of this weapon. There's the stairs. Nice. Hell yeah. Invisu Nikto. Splash through some water. All right, I'll stop there. Okay, I'm feeling good about Thuban 11. Thuban, by the way, is just a dwarf name that I really like. And it's, for those who haven't seen my older videos, uh, oh, right, shit. Um, can I do something for it? I have a rod of cloud mines when I get those. How about I try the medical bag? Damn. There's no morphine or laudanum I can take in there. Yeah, that's right. Get real calm, boy. Shock is at 97%. Okay. Shock, it's reset. And that's a statue. Cool. Okay, this is probably going to be my last attempt unless I get, like, struck by falling rocks right here. Yeah, so I'm by this brigier, so I'm calm. A zealot. I'm guessing that's an upgraded cultist. 95 hit chance. Nice. Oh, that's a strong boy. Okay. Screams in agony. Strike him. This is dope. Spiked mace. Let me take a look at that. Okay, the axe is 2 to 12 with minus 5 hit chance. Spiked mace is 2 to 14 and minus 10. 
and it's noisy, but it also can stun. But when you destroy corpses, it'll kick them. Oh, this one's for breaching doors, though. I'll switch to it just because I want to see new stuff. Kicking over braziers and hurting enemies with it is actually really fun. That's a cool mechanic. Oh god. Here we go. Okay. He's dead. I'm suffering from this poison, yo. Oh, my body's cleansed though now. So I guess now I'll just keep fucking around, I guess. Yeah. I feel like... Oh, I just spent enough time and now I know what it is. A secret's revealed. Cool. And it looks like I'm healing too. Nice. Yeah, just like the original Rogue, snakes are a fucking nightmare. Okay, what the fuck is that for real? I keep seeing the statue and getting tweaked out. I sprained myself. Poison again. My inability to aim with a mace is kind of irritating. Although I guess if I get to a, a higher level, which I'm staring down the barrel of right now, I might in fact. Okay, P, up, nice. And now I will wait. Okay, that's good there. My shot got a little high, but that's okay. God, what the shit. Okay, so look at this. You can't see through the vines until you actually go through them. The vines obscure your vision. That's a cool that's a cool detail. I like that. God, that rat thing shook off a hit from a fucking mace. That must have been really unlucky. I can't imagine a rat has much more than the minimum health. Cultist in my view. Cultist is wary. Rat thing is disturbed. Peroche be box malax, the cultist says. I've been slowed. Oh, it says everything around me seems faster. That's interesting. Well, that sucked. Mm. This is really hard. But this is a very good game. Um, this is Infra Arcana. It is free to play. And I will put a link to it in the description. No, not the inflation calculator. Okay. Um, yes, very, very good game. Very well made. Um, I really enjoyed it. So let's hit E to escape to reality. Cool. So that's, um, that's Friday Night Roguelikes, everyone, or I guess Spooky Night Spooklikes is the new name. Um, I did what I am pretty sure is going to be a longer episode because I'm like, yeah, we're going we're gonna to get stuck into this one. And this was a very good game. I really enjoyed this one. Um, it, feels like, it feels like a very classic roguelike. Well, I mean, it feels like the original Rogue. I mean, that's... That's as classic as a roguelike gets if it f feels analogous to Rogue. Um, yeah, very good game. Very well made. Um, shitload of polish. Uh, I really enjoyed that. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Next week for some more Spooky Night Spook Likes. And I believe tomorrow I am uploading something a little special. I think I'm reading a... Sh Short story? I don't want to spoil it. Yes, I am. I'm reading a short story. Um, so yeah, that's a uh, that's for tonight, Roguelikes, everyone. See you guys next time. I've been Alfred, uh, and that was Infra Arcana. Bye.